Well, we know that it started in China, in a city called Wuhan, which is in the central part of the country. Now, that city has a population of some 11 million people. It makes it about the same size as Paris in terms of the number of those living there. Now, health authorities in the city believe that the virus has its origins at a local food market, which sold game and other live animals for consumption. Things like snakes, rats, bats were sold and eaten. Now, doctors think that from one of those types of animals, this disease has mutated and made its way into the local human population. And it is spread in Wuhan from there. Wuhan now is under quarantine. People unable to come or go. It's not just Wuhan as well. Several other cities in that province are also under quarantine, meaning tens of millions of people cannot leave. Airports closed, roads shut, trains cancelled. But that hasn't been able to stop the virus jumping beyond China's borders. So what are authorities here in Europe doing about this latest outbreak? Well, we know in the lead up to the airport closure in Wuhan that there were flights from that region into Europe and to quite major airports at that. London, Paris, Moscow and Rome. That's meant doctors at those airports are stepping up screening to try and catch people that may have been infected and to provide them care. But what are they looking for? What are the symptoms? Well, it's things like coughing, sneezing, having a fatigue, having a fever. But of course, those symptoms are very similar to your average winter flu or cold already going around Europe, which means doctors have really got their work cut out for them, not only trying to catch potentially sick people in busy airports, but to also avoid misdiagnosis. But nevertheless... With no vaccine yet approved or treatment available, all the World Health Organization can do at this stage is to advise people on how to prevent the spread of this virus. They're advising people to consider wearing a face mask if they've been to that region, to avoid coughing and sneezing on others and to wash hands regularly. Now, of course, this is a fast moving story, but it's one we're keeping a close eye on. So stay with Euronews and Euronews.com for all of the latest information.